Hello and welcome back to another episode of Ventures Ghost of New Eden. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty of the game. It is um, time for another banishment. Let's uh, take a good look. We must talk. I think he means you. Wonderful. Go on then. Another ghost. I'm guessing from your rigging that, like Mr. McWraith here, you're a banisher. Ante Duarte. That's yes, the old merchant. I'm a banisher. <clears throat> Red can see you, by the way. He can? Oh, interesting. Being dead, it seems, comes with a whole new set of rules, and I do not wish to learn them. As I'm sure you're aware, someone, somewhere, has made a mistake. <laughs> Several mistakes, in fact. Oh, I... Yes. I'm not supposed to be dead, and even if I were, I shouldn't be here talking to you. I seem to be haunting Jane. I'd like to employ you to do whatever it is you do and send me on my way. Do you have any unfinished business that could be keeping you here? Business was my trade. <laughs> trade was my business, but I'm not here because of unsold stock. I must be here for Jane. She is was my bodyguard. The contract was informal, but we obeyed it to the letter. For my part, for years I helped to track a group of mercenaries known as the Hummingbirds. Go on. I'd rather not. Jane's proudly pinnacle, and her story is her own. She'd tell it to you before she tells your man. She doesn't much trust white men. I'm shocked. Keep talking. Before we left New Eden Town, Jane had a secret. She was working on a map. I suspect she was up to something dangerous. Unfinished business. I'd like to see that map. If you look behind me, you'll find her quarters. Be discreet. I've betrayed her trust enough. All right, let's uh, take a good look. Jane doesn't trust her boss. We should poke through the squire's books. She's very defensive about that particular patch of forest. Like you with the blanket when the night is cold. All right, hummingbirds flapped the winds and burned the tents uh, with our elders inside. My father was amongst them, most of were, them were too sick to fight. Some ran, I fought. In the end, I was forced to yield. How do you rebuild a life after such horror? Oh, wow. By taking revenge, it would seem. I wonder about the epidemic. Was it a local disease or something else? Time to check out what else is going on. We're not opening that without a key. Shouldn't be hard to find. No keys here. Do your little investigation, Red McWreath. I thought I saw something shiny. I wouldn't have kept a key here. You probably would. Let's check out the stash. There. The Squire's archives. Hereby certified Indian slave named Jane, having the ability to sufficient to prove herself, shall be Squire Sincere Paris uh, for seven years until she becomes a free subject. We have granted certificate of 12th uh, day of December um, 1690. So she's Squire just free. Bought Jane's freedom. 
and hired her as his bodyguard. That was generous of him. This contract is the ghost tie. Paris had traded with the Pennacook, Jane's people. He knew she had nowhere else to go. Did he wish to help, or did he wish to profit? Right. We should talk to the squire. Indeed. This might be a quick haunting. Uh, yes. Hummingbird mercenaries massacred Jane's people. She likely seeks revenge. Ah, right. You don't seem surprised. Why do you think we came to a backwater like New Eden? She knew the hummingbirds had been here. I wonder if it's this that's keeping you here. Yes, of course. It must be. Right. That's her. Can I go now? Jane wants revenge on the mercenaries who killed her people. Maybe that's why you're still here. Give us something to work with, Paris. Ah, Jane had a cache of weapons in the wood. The fiery grove, as she described it. I presume it to mean that the trees there are... autumn red. Arms in the woods. Red leaf trees. Noted. We'll take our... I'll set... Okay. Let's find this fiery grove. She means to kill the hummingbirds. Hell of a mission for... Let's just double check where that would be. 600 is quite far away. Okay, we need to go here and we do have shelter near that location. So we might be able to hit two birds with one stone, I'm right? Person alone. Sincere's attitude is definitely strange, and not only for his constant whining. Good, let's fast travel right there. <clears throat> and see what we can do. There is maybe another haunting. Just as we're moving up here. Oh, look that at that. Rock. A letter from the dead, perhaps. Is up, sir. Don't. Oh. Uh. Could people not stop murdering each other for one bloody minute and put us out of work? I almost welcome the change at this point. Come on, the body would have floated downstream. the third one as per the usual one two three one two as one, two. Quick and precise. Well done. Jane's fiery grove. Let's search around. Good. Let's stick with uh, the merchant uh, theme first. 
There's also a massive point of interest here. Consider me very much interested in doing that. Mm, plenty of points of interest, actually. But we need to find her haunting uh, stash. Are we even on the right track? No, of course we're not. Let's take the main road and see where this leads us. This is well done. You are exploring a lot of uh, the different parts. I still disagree with the executive decision to... This must be Jane's watchtower. ...to slowly but surely give, uh, the, give, uh, give away these areas and just seal them off beforehand. This isn't over yet. Get the hell out of there! That corpse is taken in. Good. Well, that's a solid kill. Stay down. Oh yeah, we're massacring them. Call on me. I already did that. I called on you and you killed them all. Good job. A wee island kiss for you. Good. There is supposed to be a point of interest here. jump no we need to find something else oh look at you well right up here is where we need to go and I would love to get that altar because that's permanent uh, stat increase And not just a little bit of vitality, but extra spirit power slash health. Good, let's try this side here for a jump. in left. <laughs> the enemies in this area are rather 
easier. <clears throat> Destroy those ghost wards if you want me back. Of course, they add ghost wards to the situation so that you cannot much better transport. Come on, finally. There we go. Claim the reward. Spirit points, but overall, I think our spirits are uh, points are still lower than his health. Good, so that's one secret done. I appreciated that they wanted to make the world kind of consistent uh, so that you can't just go out of bounds so easily. I rather prefer kind of a Skyrim approach. That's when you know that a game is really, really, really good. When essentially it is so good that you uh, can explore whenever and whatever you want to do. You can ride up a mountain and the game will uh, tell you when it's not possible. Of course, yes, Skyrim has its uh, faults. Uh, the uh, glitches that uh, this type of movement offers are a bit obnoxious, but still, if you play it normally and don't use uh, the speedrunning glitches uh, to get unlimited uh, jumping distance, then sure. Most of it uh, is better than not being able to effectively jump down a hill. For instance. an enraged specter is lurking. Fantastic! Nearby. That's what I was looking Why for. Why not summon it? This is one of the scorches, and we need uh, scorch remains, so that's actually helping us quite a bit. Present yourself. Envious harvester. Okay. There's more of them. Get out of there. Okay, he's definitely more. You'll get it next time. Kind of the spirit. Uh, it's up to no vulnerable good. type. Just look at the damage that we're dealing. Okay, now we're Nothing moves like a shot. dealing almost no damage. Now he's physically vulnerable. Fancy a race. This might hurt. Good. The birds indeed are quite dangerous. It's going all out. Almost there. Get 
Shield there. Okay, so far so good. Watch out. Spectre possession. Pulling a fly one. Get lost, won't you? Spectre heading for that corpse. Stay down. Cool. We got one Scorch accretion. But that's about it. Still signals that this is a ritual site, but it isn't, right? We're done. We're done here. Okay, cool. Just out of curiosity. Might be the secret cash key. All right, back to our actual mission the haunting uh, hunting tower. Off we go then. Peaceful. No wonder she kept it to herself. A haven where one can mourn and scheme. I won't want to. One day you shall have it, and we can scheme in it together. She's an artist. That makes her doubly dangerous. She suffers alone. Reminds me of Mahip on a day. Hmm. She glories in the killing. You are not the same. And here's the cash. There's enough powder and shot here to bring down an elephant. Or a flock of hummingbirds, perhaps. Uh, okay. Jane tracked the mercenaries to the swamps. Jane means to kill them all. With the help of Squire Sincere Paris. More Spectre mess for us to clean up. Let's go do a little scouting. Good, let's find that mercenary camp, but before we do so... It would be fantastic to get over there. Unfortunately, I don't see a way over there. Good, where's that mercenary camp? There's, by the way, still a rift nearby. Yeah. Which we may or may not want to do as well. Mm. 
I can help. There must be a mercenary camp here. Away with you. Watch out. Spectre possession. There's more of them. Why is this one so sturdy? They never learn, do they? I'm hitting one of them for 50, the other one barely takes any damage. They brought more friends. I'm right here. I can help. Standing by. Pay attention. Help. Oh. Good. That was much closer than it needed to be. Played that stupidly. Search the area. Sure, we can find something. But I'm not sure if we're tracking the right thing because this is now. The mercenary camp is here. We've just switched uh, to the other case. Well, that's fine by me. Take it. Wait, we've missed something on the other bank. All right, what did we miss? Positive received in you in town to be delivered. Letters for Fort Jericho. There's your new job. Now you're a postman. Nah, not for me. Too dangerous. an echo ringing. We may have found our victim. A very broken strong box. Hmm. Empty of its train band payroll. Our messenger was also carrying money. And it's gone. Ah, 
Other boy finished the job. And robbed him blind. Hmm. A dead messenger. A missing payroll. And a single name. Young Scudder didn't seem the type. Then again, they rarely do. He left me hanging from a tree. He's definitely the type. Okay, so young Scotter has a lot to explaining to do. Once we're back in the camp, could travel there, um, but I think I'm not going to do that. I think I'll quickly do the echo, uh, the the void rather, and then we're continuing the episode. Be right back. All right, guess what? We are back in town. <clears throat> Talk to the culprit. Who's somewhere around here. Okay, so it's not for Jane. this Banisher? case, but uh, Jane might... May I say nah, well? you may she's eat. not helping with the case. I'll leave you. We're buying what we can before we're killing uh, her later or banishing her later. Uh, I hate it when the map isn't clear. I need to search anywhere here in all of those houses. Well, great job, game. All right, be right back. This would be a better book if it had pictures in. Better still if I knew how to read. <laughs> Who might you be? Credence Scudder, sir. At your service, sir. The boy is shrouded in spectral stains. There's a ghost at work here. Scudder? Are you brother to beloved Scudder? Oh no, nothing like that. He's my cousin. There are two Scudder boys. And who are you, your lordship? I'm the banisher, Red McCraith. And while I welcome your civility, you may call me Red. The banisher that saved us from the beast! You, your lordship, are a hero! Is your cousin around? I've not seen him in a while. Maybe he's gone to the woods, the safe part. He does that. What does he do in the woods? Checking his traps, I suppose. Not that there's much game. I wish he wouldn't leave me. A messenger went missing. And the trail leads here. The trail? What kind of tra- Oh, that kind of trail. Was he killed? Who killed him? Who could have? No. He couldn't have. He wouldn't. He couldn't. Would he? Did he? By he, do you mean your cousin? Beloved, I. But he couldn't. He's nothing like that. He's a good un. I'll need to search your house. I... Yes. Yes. Of course. If you think it important. I'll go take... If there's... By the not pointing doesn't... the finger, he pointed the finger. What does he know? Yeah, that's a good question. The guy doesn't uh, look completely innocent. Hmm. 
Lest you hear elsewhere, I tell you, I've killed a man. No anger, lad, no malice, nor greed. Hold your tongue, hold your fist. Your Beloved's father. father was a killer on the run, on his way to New Eden. A bad man, but a good father? Seems unlikely. Yeah, I would agree. Don't know how a good killer. I'm not talking fears about himself doomed to repeat his father's mistakes. He probably will. The apple falls close to the tree. There's nothing more to find here. Huh? You crying Scots busybody! Who died and made you constable? Easy now, Scudder. Your cousin gave me permission to come in. Credence means everything he says. And thinks everyone else does too. What do you want? I'm investigating a haunting. Your haunting, as a matter of fact. I don't yet know whose ghost it is, but it'll have good reason to linger. I've seen your work. I've seen the bodies. Take your investigation and get out of my house. No need to be so defensive. What are you hiding, Mr. Scudder? I... No, no, you're trying to bewilder me. Out with you, out of my house. A man is dead, Scudder. His life ended, his body pillaged and buried in a shallow grave. That's not... That's nothing to do with... No, leave me be, you can't do this to us. From your demeanor, I'm guessing it was your first time. Killing a man, I mean. It... No! I dare not! I can't! I... No! Please! Go! Enough! What foe retribution is this? Son. Oh, oh no! They hanged the old man! They hanged old Jed! The light is doomed! I too shall swing! So the father embodied his son and killed someone? You must be the boy's father. My son is innocent. I'm Antea Duarte, and this is Red McWraith. We are banishers. Look, to credence. What do you want, ghost? Why have you come? Beloved is my boy. Yes, we get that. Good of you to visit. Why have you come? We lived in Bristol. Barely. Shared a leaky room with other lodgers. All oh, were ill all the time. My wife deserved better. We all did. I gathered every shilling I could and sent the boy. His mother and his cousin to the colonies. Beloved's my son, and now he's grown. I'll make sure he straightens up. What happened to his mother? Mary were with child when she set sail for New Eden. She refused to raise another baby in bloody Bristol. Neither of them survived that first winter. Beloved and Credence were left alone. I sent my family away. To give them better lives. I failed. But not all is lost. I can yet save my son from the corruption of his wily cousin Credence. It takes a bad and to catch a bad, and that's how I know Credence is vicious. He has a hiding place in the woods. There, you'll find the proof. Where, exactly? How shall we know this hiding place? There's a small wood cabin, but well hid. West of here, on the heights. A wooden cabin hidey hole. West, got it. What of Credence? Why do you believe him bad? He was a hellion. As a baby, and no mistake. Especially after his mum and dad died, and we took him in. 
I thought him an odd child. But he were happy with my Mary, and sweet too. She loved him. He's a bad one, and probably always was. He hides it better than any rogue, just as he hides the sharpness of his wit. He seems harmless enough. Simple, I dare say. No one mistrusts an idiot. He chose to look like one, and he's fooling all of you. Beloved needs no snake to lead him astray. I'll cut their bonds and set the boy aright. Can you be sure Beloved is innocent? He doesn't seem to believe it himself. He has my blood. But he has his mother's too. And she were good. He has her heart. I know, my son. He's no killer. All right, we not the most trustworthy uh, more for all sources. Beloved just learned of his father's death. Maybe we should go to him before searching Credence's hide. Someone's lying. Maybe everyone's lying. That is very likely. So, we'll find out who. He's dead. He's really dead. They hanged him, didn't they? Aye, they did. Condolences. Keep him. Jed was a bad father and a bad man. The world's a better place without him. Am I haunted by his ghost? Aye, he's here to protect you, as a father ought. Acting the father, now he's six feet under. I'd laugh if he hadn't tormented us so while alive. Jed suggested we have a word with Credence. Any idea where he might be? You shouldn't listen to my old man. He was not with us, never was. Leave Credence be. My cousin didn't. He's not... Look, if there's bad blood, it is mine. I'm evil to the marrow. A man who stands up for his kin can't be all bad. What does it matter if badness is in his blood? Do what you must. I'll not run. I'll face my fate, whatever it may be. Did you kill the messenger? I... We... It, in my dreams I see him drowning. His death weighs heavy upon me. I wish to think of him no more. Forget it. Forget the whole thing. I will, if I can. All right. Time to investigate the hiding spot. Strange that Beloved talked of the drowning, but not the stabbing. Either way, he fears he is a killer like his father. Perhaps it's not too late. He may yet avoid his father's fate. Well then, we'll find Credence's forest hiding hall and learn what's what. Good, let's solve that murder mystery. And then we only have a little bit more on the other one. Almost got a two for one today. I've not missed the woods, but... Good day to you, your lordship. What brings you to the woods, Credence? A walk, sir. It... A good god so we wanted to talk to him but we really didn't want to talk to him we wanted to go and find his little hideout 
There's a cabin up on that bluff there. Credence's hide, perhaps. Luckily, we have deeply freed up all of the areas already. Get rid of the other Spectre first. I can handle this on my own. Heads up! Oh, come on, really? These shite's toughened up! Standing by. I'm right here. I can help. I fought that like an absolute amateur. Don't let it crush you. Redeemed myself a little bit, but not a lot. I'd started to think Jed Scudder had made it up. Credence knew that Jed was hanged. He kept the news from Beloved. Was he manipulating Beloved? Seems that way. Plantation in the West Indies. Planned down to the purchase price. Wasn't the train band to be paid in silver? Interesting, so he wants to buy a plantation. Quite the library for a man who can't read. We've learned enough. Guilty to the core, as they say. Jed was right. Credence is cleverer than he pretends. He reads and writes and plans ambitious plans. A plantation needs a lot of coin. The silver connects him to the payroll robbery. And to the murder. The manipulative little shite. We need to talk to the Scudder boys. And we shall talk to them. Manipulative uh, little shite. They're arguing. See if you can eavesdrop. <laughs> Let's confess! Beg for mercy! I will not hang. I can't carry the burden! You can. And you will. All right, time to confront them. Soon we'll put it behind us. New Eden, everything. I cannot put it behind me. 
I bashed the man's brains in! I must fess it! No! I'll say you stabbed Askell's man and killed you in self-defense. As the father, so the son, they'll say, as they hang your corpse. No! What the... Jed! No one move. Including you, Jed. Thank God you're here, Mr. McRae. Nobody bloody talk either. Until we sort this out. What are you waiting for? Are you not going to take care of that ghost? Credence, you knew the postman was stabbed. How did you know it? Huh? I... What are you talking about? I knew it. I never mentioned it. Surely you did. You must have. Credence, the Scudder boy. The Scudder boy plays the fool. Plays us all for fools. Sir, you have it wrong. I swear it. You needed money for your plantation in the West Indies. When the postman passed with a payroll, you took your chance. Beloved was not given to violence, so when he fled the scene, you followed the man and finished him off. You let Beloved believe himself guilty, but the plan was yours from start to finish. The dead man's blood is on your hands. But I never... Well, wouldn't you? You're no angel. You're no sheriff, neither. So what are you gonna do about it? Credence. How? Oh, don't act the startled fawn, beloved. You're up to your neck in this, too. Credence Scudder, you and your cousin are haunted by the ghost of your Uncle Jed. That ends now. That's an Creedence easy one. Scudder, a malignant manipulator. You killed a man in cold blood and tried to lay the murder on your cousin. With the least of your many mischiefs, you brought the tormented soul of an anguished father back from the dead. Sir, please, please, sir. I beg of you. Bah! That soft shite will work on me no more. Time to cut the bad from you. See what's left. This is unfair. I deserve the world. A curse upon you. He's dead. You well, killed him. No shit, Sherlock. Yes, what we did. What is wrong with you? Get out of my house, murderer. No. Leave him to his grief. It's a bad day to be beloved Scudder. That indeed is true. But we're done for today. This is it. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, truly appreciate it. Uh, if you like uh, the Banishers Ghost of New Eden, then leave a comment and a like down below. And see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye bye.